Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived today in the Saudi capital Riyadh at the invitation of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Majesty will head the Kingdom's delegation at the summit between the GCC leaders and United States President Barack Obama, set to begin tomorrow. Upon His Majesty's arrival, he was received by the Governor of the Riyadh region, Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, GCC Secretary General Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, Bahrain's ambassador to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and a number of senior Saudi officials. His Majesty delivered a statement in which he expressed pleasure to meet the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and GCC leaders in the GCC US summit, which will witness the participation of the United States President Barack Obama, which reflects the outstanding relations between GCC. GCC countries and the United States in various fields. His Majesty said the summit reflects GCC countries' keenness to enhance cooperation with the major world powers in order to overcome all challenges that encounter the region as well as to maintain the region's security and stability. His Majesty expressed hope that the summit would come up with fruitful results on both regional and international levels regarding maintaining the region's security and stability, achieving aims and aspirations of GCC peoples and to adhere to all international laws and to prevent any interference in GCC domestic affairs. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Law No. 9 for this year regarding standards and meteorology. According to the law, Decree Law 16 of 1985 with respect to standards and meteorology will be abrogated and any text that contracts its provisions will be cancelled. The law will take effect a day after its publication in the official Gazette. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today a work meeting at Gudabia Palace with his deputies and the relevant services ministers. The session was dedicated to his assessment of the state of public utilities and infrastructure in the Maharic Governorate and the issuance of His Royal Highness's directives following his surprise visit to Maharic yesterday. The Prime Minister affirmed the need to provide the highest quality of basic services to ensure the improvement of citizens' living conditions. He stressed his refusal to accept any delays regarding the project, including the Maharic Central Market project. He directed speedy implementation of delayed actions in coordination with the Municipal Council and the relevant bodies. He directed the revamping of streets and roads in Halat Bu Maher and undertaking the necessary steps to ensure the project is offered to public tender. This will include the paving of streets and the removal of all obstacles obstructing the flow of traffic. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said that practical actions must be taken to preserve the sanctity of local residential neighbourhoods and to prevent the insertion of expatriate workers' accommodation in the area. He directed the reclassification of old neighbourhoods to expand the options of urban development and construction, provided that this will not result in leasing them as labour accommodation. His Royal Highness also directed the ministers to abide by the rules and regulations and not allow any breaches or infringements of state-owned lands or misuse of public properties for private purposes. GCC leaders and heads of delegations of the GCC and the US summit started arriving at the Saudi capital Riyadh. The custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, received the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Subah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Subah, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, and the Omani Deputy Prime Minister for Cabinet Affairs, Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said. The summit commences tomorrow with the participation of the United States President Barack Obama, who affirmed the importance of enhancing strategic GCC-US cooperation in order to tackle the challenges which face the region. 
Custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud held a meeting with U.S. President Barack Obama at Raja Palace in Riyadh. The custodian of the two holy mosques affirmed the friendly bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United States of America. For his part, the U.S. President expressed his appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques for his invitation to participate in the GCC U.S. Summit, which commences tomorrow. GCC Ministers of Defence held a meeting with the U.S. Defence Secretary Ashton Carter at Daria Palace in Riyadh. GCC Secretary General Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zahani said that the meeting discussed means of enhancing military cooperation in order to develop defence capabilities so as to maintain the region's security and stability. The meeting also reviewed ways of boosting international efforts regarding the ongoing fight against ISIL and discussed plans and strategies that aim to secure the region's stability. Ministers also condemned Iran's interference in GCC internal affairs and its support to terrorist organizations with both sides agreed on the deployment of joint patrols to intercept Iranian ships smuggling weapons to Yemen.